yeah, people people will say uh, my I should talk about my involvement in tourism. Getting the fact that uh, Africans our colors makes us to be one element that uh, makes people to want to see us. And um, that is one reason that I always hold on to myself and say, come, my, I build and I build tourist attraction and by God, so I should be able to build someone that was around me. That gets back to all the things I'm doing because I realize that I am not a good politician. I want the government to be closer to me. I want them to come look for me. And the only thing I need to do is to be very, uh, to create an urban environment that government will always want to come and uh, tap into. And that gave me uh, the sense of belonging to uh, look for things that someone has not done before. That will make me to be the first to do it. Brought about the Zoloika Garden, brought about the Masquerade Museum, uh, brought about the Zoloika Museum, and um, the famous one is the uh, Climate Change Museum. And now we are in um, we are inside King Kosoko Memorial Museum. So I always want to keep history alive. I want to turn dead zone to live to a living zone. I want to turn a condemned part of the society to an attractive part of the, of the society. I always want to revive things. And doing that makes me happy. And that is the reason I, I, I called on the state and federal government that uh, the King Kosoko Palace that was built in 1861 by the British government with the British money uh, should be, uh, should, should be included into the list of um, historical sites of Nigeria. And um, to tell you now, it's one, of, uh, uh, it's one among other buildings in Lagos Island, or the Lagos Island that is still standing till date. And um, I'll continue to do all what I can do. But the good thing is that uh, Lagos State Government and the federal government has issued a certificate uh, to that effect. So we're hoping, hoping that one day they will come and uh, do the visit and uh, publish it as uh, an, uh, a tourist site. And um, that is the reason I keep meeting with uncles and um, aunties, uh, extended families that have um, relics of King Kosokos with them, properties of King Kosokos with them, that doesn't know the value. And um, the beauty about it is that they are all bringing it all out. So everybody is giving me what they have in their own uh, um, coffers, and uh, the ones I have within uh, my own branch of Kifusokoria family, I've been able to bring them in here. So majority of what you're seeing here are things that are, uh, are from uh, uh, the family. The Kifusoko is its original chair, its original uh, walking stick. I got the walking stick some couple of days ago, and the staff of office given to him by Queen Victoria. <coughs> Excuse me. The one given to him by uh, 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 George, King George. All those things are things that I, uh, we have around here for people to see. And I am looking forward to uh, make sure that the celebration that we have, that we have designed for the palace, uh, which include the reminiscence, which we will be celebrating on the 15th. We'll also be doing the return of King Kosoko from Ekbe. And September 16th, we'll be doing the Exodus, the bombardment of Lagos, uh, in December, uh, December 26. Um, we'll also be uh, we'll be unveiling the museum this year, uh, just after the inauguration. We're hoping that the Mr. Governor will come and uh, do that for us, uh, for us as a sign for him to uh, keep to his uh, team agenda. And um, there are so many other things that is just there for us to work on, and. Um, the good thing is that for now we've received about 700 visitors uh, from outside the countries. And uh, it's a plus for us here. It's a plus.